Uh, we, uh, we've talked about here on the show before about the well-intentioned um, advice that sometimes like when the haters are out there, it's, they kind of suck, but like you can identify them. You're like, you're mm-hmm. haters. You do not have my best uh, interest in mind. I'm going to ignore you, but it's the well-intentioned advice, the people that love us, that we know that care for us. Um, and sometimes they can be mentors as well, um, that we don't want to like disappoint, or we want to, um, not just that, just like take their advice and, you know, when we're unsure, mm-hmm. borrow it for ourselves. So it's, it's interesting that you, sh- you know, that you should mention that. Cause I'm sure a lot of people may, may relate. Um, sometimes students and it's interesting, um, who are in their undergrad will say to me, well, I'm an accounting major. I just started my fourth year. It's too late for me to do anything else. So part of our conversation is to just put a big exclamation there and say bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um, It's not too late. It's never too late. And, um, you know, when, like, Jillian, I wish that when I had found out um, about you, I wish that, you know, if we had been on Facebook or something, like, I wish I would have reached out to you then. And, um, and, but if not, then, then it's, I guess it's never too late, right? In the spirit. And so reaching out 10, 10 years later and reconnecting when I had a student um, about six months ago, who said, you know, I don't think I want to be an accountant. And she is somebody who met with me every Thursday morning during the pandemic, during her fourth year, to make sure she stayed on track. She was an A student. She wanted to remain as an A student in accounting. And, and then she like said, Sam, I don't want to, you know, be an accountant. I think I want to go to med school. Um, and so I immediately was like, this is fabulous. I want to reach out to Jillian because she... <laughs> you know, she was so brave and she really paved the way for a lot of people who have, um, who have that thought. And so I'm sure if you haven't heard it before, I'm sure there's other people out there that saw what you did. Um, and you're leading by example and, um, it helped them be brave either in that way or in their own way. Yes. No, I think that, yeah, having someone that you can, relate to whether it's the same switch that I made or something similar is super important because yes, it was extremely scary and, and embarrassing. Like I, Mm. I felt like I had failed because then everyone in like my MPAC cohort, you know, went on to write their exam. Um, and at that point, like, like the statistics were, you know, they looked at those and like, I was the person that didn't complete MPAC to go off to write the UFI. Um, so yeah, it was for a long, for probably about two years, I felt like I had done the the wrong thing. Um, and I was definitely a bit like embarrassed about it and it was a super difficult decision to make. And it had financial like consequences too. Like I had to pay back my firm for the payments for MPAC. Um, yeah. You, you had to go back to undergrad. You, to go back to undergrad. If I recall, you moved from Calgary back to Saskatchewan. Yeah. Like this, this was not a light decision. And like in Calgary, you're surrounded by, you know, 20 or 25 other people that are very much like, this is the way. And even in the firm, if you, if you even said, like, I don't think I want to be partner. <laughs> like yeah. it was, it was like, oh, what are you doing? Let alone, um, like I want to go do, you know, something completely different. And so you say you felt embarrassed and, you know, every part of me now wants to be like, no, 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 like you shouldn't. And I know, you know, that you shouldn't, but that's how you felt at the time. And that is yeah. completely normal. Just like the fourth years, you know, now we're like, maybe this isn't my path, like go mm-hmm. explore. Um, mm-hmm. like I've had students in the CPA program who went and one lived in, um, San Francisco or San Diego for two years, training with the Canadian and US swim team. Then he got hurt right before trials and came back and he was like, no regrets. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, maybe, um, maybe I got to the same place, but at least I know. Like, so, you know, we're all just doing our best on this path. But then when you're getting a strong enough indication that, hey, this isn't what I want to do. This isn't where I'm supposed to be at for me, then go change. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's okay. Absolutely. 